Happy day, friends. We are trying to figure out what we're doing today. Uh, today is the work day where I typically, uh, I say work day. Every day is a work day, but today is my least worky work day. I don't have, most of the time, any kind of editing to do. So it's more so working on other things and figuring out what errands I need to catch up on that I didn't get around to doing the whole week. So what do we need to do? Dad needs his medicine picked up. Look at my cute if you guys, family. If you guys didn't see the last vlog, Austin has... Paige really wants to go to Menchie's. Today? Yeah, so I told her, I don't know if we can yet, but we're gonna figure out what we need to do today. That's why we're sitting down thinking about what we need to do. Austin has low testosterone, um, and we're, we're kind of back and forth on whether or not we think it's the best idea for him to take testosterone shots, I guess is what you'd call it. Or if there's something else, I don't know. Like, we're just kind of on the fence on it right now, but his prescription among with a couple others is ready and I need to go get those. No. But I don't know who I'm taking with me or where I all, or or all the places me, I need me, to go. Me, 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 you want me, me to take me. you? You want to ride with me in the car? <laughs> <laughs> We got lots of leaves that need picking up, Bow Bow. I know. I'm waiting for it to warm up a little bit. We gotta make the table in the basement. We need to wait till he lays down for a nap to do that. So, yeah. We got things to do today. We got things to do. Let's do it. I wanna build that podcast table. All right. Well, then I'm gonna go do those errands right now. Deal. Who's going on a car ride with me? Me, 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 me. All right, go get your shoes on. What are you doing to my neck? Boy, why are you hanging on? Are you gonna tell me, teach me a lesson? <laughs> a little bit wobblier. You gotta keep your balance. Keep your balance. Now sing the ride a little horsey. Ride a little horsey. <laughs> Easy, Dad. Watch ride his neck. Ride a little horsey, don't fall down. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You kids are so fun. You gonna walk? Walk, walk, walk. Walk to dad. You gonna walk? Come here. Go ahead and walk to dad. Yeah. Stand shoulder width apart. Get your balance. Get your balance. <laughs> there is no hope He just you. like won't allow you to let go. I feel so torn whether I want him to walk before the cruise or not. Part of me is like, well, if he doesn't walk, He's a little bit more containable, but at the same time, he likes to crawl around a lot and I don't necessarily want him crawling around on a cruise, but he'd be easier to keep in a stroller. But then if he's walking, I just think it would be so fun. Sure, it would be busier, but it would be so fun. Are you a tickly boy when dad tickles your feet? <laughs> growing, growing, growing. Where is Paige? She was supposed to be getting shoes on so we could go do our... Errands. Oh, Paige. Hey, Paige. What are you doing in here? Are you getting socks? What are you doing? Let's get your socks. Here, found them. Mom, that's a new song. That was a new song? Yeah. What was it about? I don't know. Oh, okay. You ready? Ready to go to the store with me? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. With Manchie. <laughs> What about if we stop and get a Frosty and chicken nugs? Yeah. Good idea? Okay. Frosty. I just put a little bit of... Sparkle, 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 sparkle. You want sparkles? Okay, come here. Sparkle, sparkle. I just put some chopstick on. And you said you wanted what? Sparkle chopstick. Sparkle chopstick. Right? Okay, come here. Let me get you some chopstick. You love chopstick, don't you? Whoa. <laughs> Shiny oh. cheese. cheese. That's one of the cutest things that the girls say. What's this called, Paige? I don't know. You know. Ch Check. What? No, what's it called? Kappa Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Kappa Dude? I thought it was called Chopstick. No, it Cappadoodles. Cappadoodles. <laughs> oh, you're too silly. 
It's so cute. Well, I think you are the winner. Well, how am I supposed to compete with that? Okay, get your shoes. All right, hop on up. We'll get you buckled. Oh, you having a good day? We're gonna get Manchi. No, we're gonna get a Frosty this time, remember? No, I'm calling the Frosty Manchi because oh. it tasted like Manchi the ice cream. You're right, you're right. Are you having a good day so far? Yeah. Good, I'm glad. And you are having a bad day. What? I am? Yeah. I didn't know that. What is happening? What's making me have a bad day? Because why? You didn't do a good hug. I didn't do a good hug? I tricked you. Uh, oh, you're so tricky. You're having a good day. I am having a good day. I'm having a very happy day. Okay, let's get going. I am you're having, having a good day. I am having a good day. I'm also a little bit stressed today. I'm sure Austin and I will talk to you guys about it later. Um, we have been... Mom, you're having a bad day. No, I'm not having a bad day. Uh, we have been discussing Happy Day Apparel and how we want to move forward. It's a bit of a stressor. Um, we'll explain why later. But we feel like three kids really threw us... Yeah, three kids. It really like we just and we just did not anticipate. Lucas? Yeah, you guys. We did not anticipate the amount of time um, that Lucas would add to our daily like list of things that we need to our do daily and, and, special. <laughs> and taking care of three kids. Um, just underestimated the amount of other things that we would be able to do. And so Happy Day Apparel unfortunately um, has taken a big hit as far as the amount of time we've been able to put into it. We don't know exactly how we're gonna proceed yet, but it's, it's honestly not looking good if I'm being completely honest with you guys. It's not looking good. And it kind of breaks my heart to say that. Your shinies? What shinies? My bead and my shrinkies. Your shrinkadinks? Where are they? And my bead. Where are they? On the ground right now? Okay, I'll get them before we go, really quick. You mean like this white bead? Yeah. Okay, where's your shrinky dinks? Um, maybe from on the ground over here. Oh my gosh, Paige. Oh, well that I'm gonna have to get another time because I think it's in the abyss. I'll try, I'll try one time to get them, but I think they've fallen into the car seat abyss. And I'll have to probably get, like, oh wait a second. Wait a second. One, two, three. Three shrinky dinks. I found them. <laughs> what do you want me to get? I want you to get Cheetos at the store right now. Cheetos. You love Cheetos, don't you? Yeah, yeah. today. We can go get some Cheetos. We're about to go in the grocery store. <laughs> Every time I go to the place that we're, where we pick up our prescriptions recently, something is like not available. And I don't know if we were just so spoiled before because every time I had to pick up Lucas's medication for like the last year, never any issues. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> every single time it's like they didn't have something. It's out of stock. They have to wait for it to get in or there's like an issue with it. I don't know. Anyways, thankfully, like thankfully we're not really any in any rush for the prescriptions that we had to pick up, which was nice. Um, but man, it's like, is that normal? I don't, I don't know if that's normal. Okay. Cheetos and burrito blankets, AKA tortillas, right? Burrito blanket. burrito blanket is what mommy likes to call a tortilla sometimes. <laughs> Cause you wrap up a burrito in them. <laughs> Not amused. <laughs> I feel like talking about it makes it <laughs> official makes in it a way. Makes it real? Yeah. Are you about to cry? No, I'm not gonna cry. Oh, okay. I don't think. Um, just a failed venture. Yeah, I mean, that's, it was fun. It wasn't, no, it wasn't failed. We just couldn't keep up with it. Like, three kids was a lot. We have underestimated the amount of work three kids is. That's what I said earlier. That's exactly what I said earlier. Well, we had, I feel like we had a good work-life balance with 
two kids. We did. It was really great. I don't know what it is, but something about three kids, man. It. It's a lot. It like three kids is a lot of kids. Yeah. Um. So, ultimately, unfortunately, Happy Day Apparel is officially coming to an end. Yeah. I remember when we first started going, I was like, man, this is gonna be great. We're gonna be able to give back to our community. We're gonna, like, I had this really huge goal of using the money that we generated from uh, Happy Day Apparel to then also sponsor someone to getting IVF. If you guys, some, some of you OGs might remember that. When we launched Happy Day Apparel, it was huge. Like, it was awesome. We did yeah. great. And we were launching lots of products and we were having a lot of fun with it. And it really did look like it was gonna be an obtainable goal mm -hmm. at the time. So it was like, sweet. Long story short, we're just stretched too thin. Yeah. And Happy Day Apparel isn't something realistically that we can keep up with right now. And so, and I think that's where also a lot of this stems from with ladies and lattes is, again, that's another thing that we had on our pile of things to do and our weekly cadence. And it was like, Happy Day Apparel, podcast, vlog, men try. Ladies and lattes, you compound all that over a weekly cadence and you're gonna drown. Most people, yeah. most YouTubers can't even maintain one channel, let alone the four that we were juggling. And on top of the happy day apparel, like you see burnout after burnout after burnout and we've been doing this for 10 years. Mm -hmm. And so at some point we had to rein it back. We and did. The very and... first thing to be reined back was ladies and lattes. Mm -hmm. And now the second thing Although that's getting... I miss, I miss filming videos with Holly so much. Well, and here's But the it's thing. all, it's all the other work that goes along with it that I don't miss, um, yeah. but that wasn't obtainable. Just not the season for that right now. You know, I've really enjoyed being able to focus a lot on the kids um, the last year and, you know, raining back ladies and lattes had to be done um, in order to do that and also Happy Day Apparel, you know, for the last six months, if not longer, Happy Day Apparel has just been kind of like a stress it's been a waiting over me because I know it's something that I could not give myself to yeah. in this season of life. Um, so... And here's the thing, and this might paint a better picture. We go through a fulfillment center and that fulfillment center has a monthly surcharge that is pretty significant. Yeah. And it's not... It's that pressure that I think is also adding to the situation. It is a financial responsibility yeah. to run a business mm. like that. Um, and the funds... The funds were draining. Draining pretty quick. And we were not releasing... We just couldn't... Yeah, we couldn't keep up. It's too much. It feels like a failure, but it also doesn't at all. Like, yeah. We've learned a lot. Yeah, a good experience. And I think a lot of you guys love what you got out of it. I love the clothes I got out of it. I can say that for sure. Yeah. So all that to say, if you have ever wanted anything from Happy Day Apparel, now is the time. The, the blush hoodie, the zip up, the teal crop, anything that is left in our inventory, it's gonna go away. <laughs> we're, we're honestly speaking, like it's likely not gonna be open past another month, um, yeah. if that. So. If you've ever wanted anything, now is the time. Everything is just about as discounted as we can do right now without losing further money. <laughs> if I'm being bluntly honest. Yeah, we're and offering we're offering free shipping in the US along with a free tumbler for almost for every purchase. For almost everything, except the happy haunting tea, which I think there might only be one more of anyways. Yeah, it's um, like, it's only in one size, I think. So uh, now is your chance. Get your happy day apparel. The overall lesson here, there's a season for everything. Yeah. And our season for Happy Day Apparel has come and gone. But for yeah. maybe there will be a season in the future once all the kids are in school, once we don't know what to do with our time. Yeah, once and then, projects are on the house. Then maybe stop more up. then maybe more time for extracurricular adventures. Yeah. Cause I still wanna sell stuff on like Men Try and on the podcast. I think so, we could have so much fun there. Yeah, people have been asking for a Mentri hoodie oh my for gosh. years and yeah. years and, and years. And we've just never done it, but we need to. It'd be fun. Maybe maybe we can afford to do one hoodie <laughs> <laughs> with the extra time we have. <laughs> All right, guys. 
I probably should check on my kids. <laughs> yeah. Worth the wait? You got your Cheetos? Pretty good. Cheeto girl. Cheeto, Cheeto girl. No, I'm stirring my Cheetos. Oh, you're stirring your Cheetos. Yes, of course. Yes, Lucas, yeah. You're doing it, buddy. You're doing it for real. Oh, oh boy. We have reached new territory. Uh-oh. Michael, look what he just did. <laughs> I will, buddy. Oh, my god. Oh, yeah, they're not even hurting me. They're Dad. chickens. Look, they're chickens, and they're not even hurting me. Dad is gonna be so proud. <laughs> oh, onto the knees. Yeah. Oh, oh my word. <laughs> wow, look at Yeah, it. buddy. Yeah, I'm yeah. proud of you. You just started pointing at everything. Did huh? it. <laughs> yeah. Did it. You did it. Bang, 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 bang. Whoa. <laughs> You guys ready? So I was making a cool game for you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's I saw see. this earlier on Instagram. And I was like, oh, I gotta do this with my kids. I'm intrigued. Okay. You guys ever played ski ball? No. Good. <laughs> Why do you say good? Because <laughs> he gets to teach you. I get to teach you the ways, kid. The top one is worth Don't three you points. even think about climbing up these, Lucas. Lucas. <laughs> oh! Okay, now yellow. Okay, careful, don't jump next to the edge. That's another reason I wondered if you no, wanted to. Oh, 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 oh. Lucas. You're doing what I told you not to do. Bud, <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> what are you doing, sir? He's trying to he go just, all the way. He just looked up at me and laughed. I know, and look at him. Uh-oh. <laughs> what are you doing, Try sir? that for a minute. <laughs> Whoa, gotcha. <laughs> Dang it. No My point! Turn. I know how to do this easily. Okay, you gotta stand on the rug. This gotta go like this, this, and this. Okay, but cool, but you gotta stand on the rug. Ow. None of that counts. Ow, 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 ow. Here you go. Ow, ow, ow. Stand on the rug and do it now. Whoa! Uh, let's see it. <laughs> we have to stand right here. If we put them next to the cover, then they win. Blue next to. I'm going to stand right here. This is the spot where kids play. Okay. Ah. Wait, this is the spot. Dang. The spot where kids play right here. Oh! Oh, wow. <laughs> you won! Oh, did I? Wait, you didn't win yet, but you put one next to this color. Yeah, I did, didn't I? I Good job. did it too. So now it's going to be a little trickier. This game is called The Treats. So we have to carefully put the treats in here oh. so they don't break. If you do it very hard, then your tree will break. Got you. Like that. That's fun. Happy day, friends. Uh, I, I mean, I guess this, this is part of the same vlog. 
it's the next morning because I fell into another coma last night. Um, I was so, so tired. I don't know why. Austin was a little confused as well because I have passed that point in my cycle where I typically feel very tired from my PMDD. But last night, I don't know what it was. I could not stay awake. Um, I should tell Austin because whenever this happens, we don't end the vlog that night. Um, but I should tell Austin next time it happens just to like grab the camera. <laughs> Record me passed out on the bed after Big Bed Book Club. Just so you guys can see kind of how ridiculous it is. I woke up at midnight last night after like seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, after five hours of a nap, still in my clothes, face not washed, teeth not brushed, totally passed out. And then after that, got up, got ready for bed officially and went back to bed. I've been enjoying the morning with uh, this little one, just getting him some breakfast um, before I start my work day. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. <laughs> You slammed those raspberries. You ate them so fast. Yeah, you did. You did. Not gonna lie, I'm a bit confused about why I was so tired yesterday. I don't know. It seems like everything the last three or four months was really pretty predictable with when I would feel tired, um, why I was kind of feeling tired now that I got my diagnosis, and yesterday was not normal for me. Um, I was days past when I'd normally feel tired and I'd feel, been feeling good for days prior to yesterday so I don't, I'm a little confused and honestly a little bit concerned. <laughs> I just want to know what to expect when we have our vacation. I don't want to be like this on our vacation and I and so far everything is lined up that I will be mostly in the clear while we were gone and this kind of just like uh, makes me worry a little bit. It's all up in the air, but I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day and we will see you guys next time. Bye.